Hey everybody, it's Jim Kukro and welcome to another edition of The Daily Flip. And today I'm talking about something my friend Steve Rosenbaum coined. It's a term called promiscuous posting. And Steve and I, or Steve came up with this uh, name for it when we were on our Video Ninjas radio show. And Steve, and video, promiscuous posting means the ability of taking your videos and using a service like TubeMogul and spamming it, spamming it maybe is not the correct word, out to... 10 or 20 or 100 other video sharing sites so that people can see your video. So I did this little chart here and as you can see you got your video and you have your video being distributed to all of these places with the click of a button. Um, so basically what service like TubeMogul does or Video Post Robot, what they do is they allow you to take your video and submit it with a click of a button to all of these locations. Now there's a little extra steps involved but it saves time. So the question is, is this spam? Is what you know you do with this, is this spam? Does Google consider it spam? Right now, I don't think Google does. Um, YouTube and Google. I think that right now there's so little video content out there that it's really not considered spam. And my long-term strategy is to keep doing this, I think. Um, right now, for the last six months, that's what I've been doing, is using a service like TubeMogul and getting my videos out to as many places as I can. And the one main reason that I did that was, because I didn't think there was a spam penalty. I think there may be in the future. Um, but I wanted to build community and get eyeballs in more places. Not so much build community, but get eyeballs. Because there's just, YouTube's getting 77% of video views. But there's still all these other great niche user-generated content video sites out there where people are browsing and finding uh, content. So I wanted to get it distributed to all of those places, and I'm doing that. But I'm also uploading to YouTube. And you have to do YouTube for many reasons, but that's a whole other video. Um, so what good does it get me? It gets more eyeballs. But the problem is, is, is it a good long-term strategy? I personally believe, if I'm YouTube, that you know, someday down the road, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm not really too keen on you uploading videos to Meta Cafe and Daily Motion and Blip, you know, when you should just be putting them on YouTube. So, you know, look, if you look at the, the statistics and how Google's done it before, they don't want you uploading duplicate content in indexed in Google. Why would they want content duplicated in other places? So, what am I going to do? I think for now, I'm going to probably just continue to use services like TubeMogul and upload. But I am getting to the point now where I think I may just do YouTube and pick a video player. And there's several ones out there that I like, like Yahoo. I love their player, um, but the community is not as big. Um, I love uh, Vio and Vidler. I know Gary V uses Vidler. Um, so I may just stick with YouTube and pick one more player. I'm still trying to determine which one I like, and the, I might determine that based upon... Uh, how the player is in the community. but So if you're doing promiscuous posting, the things you need to know are, right now, it seems like it's okay to do. It doesn't seem like it's spam. In the future, not so sure. So I'm Jim Kukro. That was today's Daily Flip, and good luck uploading your videos. Jim Kukro, Jim.